Hello, ninth graders, and welcome to the Linden High School family. I'm your principal, Mrs. Horry, and I'm here with vice principals, Mr. Thurston, Mrs. Lemus, and Mr. Fakiti. Mr. Bandinelli will be your freshman vice principal, and he is sending a warm welcome from his home as he heals from surgery. We all would like to say how happy we are to have you join us at LHS this year. This video message is intended to help you get your four years here off to the best start possible. Normally we would be talking to you in our LHS auditorium and taking you on a tour of our buildings to help you get to know your way around. But as you know, nothing about 2020 is totally normal. Still, we want to give you some of the basic information to get you off on the right foot, no matter what form the coming school year takes. Linden High School is divided into two buildings. The Academy Building, which is a three-story building with the ROTC program located in the rear of the building. Directly across the street is the main building, which is also a three-story building. Here is where the cafeteria and gym are located. You can have classes assigned in either building. Joining us now is freshman vice principal, Mr. Bandinelli, who will talk to you about how he will be working with you throughout your high school career. Hello, I'm Mr. Bandinelli, and I will be your ninth grade vice principal for the 2020-2021 school year. I will work closely with you all this year and follow you along through the next four years until you graduate as the class of 2024. My office is located in the main office of the Academy building, and that's the building across the street from the main high school building, and my door is always open. I look forward to getting to know you all, whether it's virtually or in person, and learning how I can help make your time at LHS rewarding, successful, and enjoyable. Good luck as we start out this journey together. Thank you, Mr. Bandinelli. Yes, Mr. Bandinelli is your VP. But all five of us, not to mention all our teachers, counselors, and support staff, stand ready to help you any way we can. Let's meet some of those people and go over a few of the things you should know about LHS to get your freshman year off to a great start. Our wonderful counselors and social workers are here to help students navigate a host of issues they may be dealing with in school or outside of school. Mr. Devaney, Ms. Patterson, and Mr. Krill are the Linden High School social workers. Ms. Volker is our student assistance counselor who focuses on areas of alcohol, drugs, and substance abuse. Each student will be assigned to one of our school counselors to help navigate classes and plan for the future. These counselors, also known as the guidance department, will help you schedule classes, help you find the right fit to meet your academic requirements, and when the time comes, help you to apply to colleges or prepare for a career. Remember, from the time you start your freshman year, the clock is ticking, and this time goes fast. What you do in your freshman year will affect your GPA throughout high school, as well as your final class ranking. So don't waste time. Get down to business right away, and you'll thank yourself later. Every student needs 120 credits to graduate. Here's the breakdown for, of those credits by subject area. Familiarize yourself with these credits and these requirements so that you can plan out your schedule year by year. Talk to your school counselor to figure out how to meet these requirements, but also use the opportunity to learn where your talents lie. You may find you have an aptitude for science or a love for art that you never realized. Our International Baccalaureate program is recognized globally as one of the, uh, one of the most prestigious courses of study. It is the most rigorous program we offer here at Linden High School. It is open to juniors and seniors, but you need to start considering it now. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself with some of our IB, cl IB classes or to pursue the full IB diploma program. When colleges are, are considering your application, they want to know you sought out the most challenging courses and that is what IB gives you. And at the same time, you can earn up to a semester's worth of college credits by the time you leave Linden High School. Remember that whether school is virtual or in person, attendance matters. You need to be present to learn. Your attendance is imperative for you to be the student you want to be. These are some of the attendance policies. Become familiar with them and follow them so that poor attendance does not become an issue in regards to your grades. The same thing goes for tardiness. It impacts not only you, but everyone in the classroom if you are walking in late. As a student here at Linden High School, you are expected to show respect for yourself, respect for your teacher, respect for your classmates, and being on time and present matters because tardiness and poor attendance will get in the way of that. Be there and be ready to learn. Your schedule is set for you and you're expected to follow it. If there is a class you need that you have not been given, see, email, or call your school counselor to resolve the issue. We know Linden High School is two big buildings and that can be stressful, but don't be intimidated. 
The main building has even numbers on one side and odd on the other. If there is an A next to the room number, that means that the room is located across the street in the Academy building. Here is a sample of what your schedule looks like. It gives the course description, room number, and teacher name. It also gives the period, but if it's a half year course, you may have two classes listed for the same period. They will be designated semester one or semester two. Become familiar with our student conduct policies and be sure to follow all of these guidelines every day. The most important thing is the safety and security of our students and staff. So student IDs are critical and must be worn at all times while in school. Cell phones are not permitted to be out during instructional time without specific permission from your teacher. We expect that student conduct will not be an issue and that everyone will come to school ready to learn and to do what they are supposed to. There will be consequences when you don't follow the rules of student conduct, including office attention, Saturday school, in-school suspension, and out-of-school suspension. There are also disciplinary points associated with all of these. Throughout the year, we have events to celebrate all the students who make the right decisions, including pep rallies, bonfires, class picnics, and more. Unfortunately, Students who have accumulated too many conduct points will not be able to take part in these. Make sure that you are included. Just as if you were in the workplace, there is a dress code in place at Linden High School, so make sure you come dressed appropriately and ready to learn with no distractions. Please make yourself familiar with the elements of the dress code seen here. The dress code starts on day one and is in place every day of the school year. Even virtually, please maintain decorum. There are so many clubs and activities available to you at Linden High School, things that you may not have thought of or have ever been exposed to. There's a gaming club, chess club, knitting club, and so many more. There are language clubs that go along with the exchange program if you have any interest in, tra in traveling to places like Spain and Italy. These clubs give you so many opportunities to get involved and to socialize with your fellow students. If there is one that you're interested in, stop by, check it out, and be a part of it. Your GPA matters for so many things, including athletic eligibility. Know the requirements. You must keep your grades up in order to stay eligible for sports. If you are a student athlete, you are always a student first and foremost. If you're not doing the right thing in class, you're not ready to play sports. These four years of Linden High School will go by very fast. In that time, you're preparing for your future. You've got to look at what you're doing now and what your goals are. Colleges are going to look at all of the all of the decisions you make as a student during your four years here. There are many other opportunities available to you that you can discuss with your school counselor, including applying for the Union County VOTEC program, the co-op work study, and the military, which is completely separate from the NJROTC program. Ultimately, your success at Linden High School is up to you. These are some of the things that you will need to help you reach your potential and meet your goals. Most importantly, we want you to ask for help when you need it. There are so many people here at Linden High School looking to help you, so don't ever feel that you have to struggle alone or in silence. Reach out to someone you trust. Thank you for your attention. I hope this presentation helped you to feel more comfortable as you start your journey as a high school student. I know this is not the normal school year, but we will get there. Our superintendent, Dr. Hazelton, has announced that we will begin the year virtually. This means that you will follow your schedule and learn from home. Expect the mailing soon with important information that will advise you how to access your schedule through Genesis and how to stay connected virtually. All freshman students will receive an email that will identify your username and password to successfully log into Genesis. Please confirm in Genesis that all personal information listed is correct. This includes phone numbers, email addresses, residential address, we need to keep in touch. If any information needs to be updated, please call the high school office. Whether we are virtual, hybrid, or have a full day regular schedule, everyone at LHS is committed to your success. If you ever feel overwhelmed or lost, reach out to your teachers, counselors, or an administrator. Thanks to all of you. And now, let's kick off your freshman year at Linden High School.